بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello and welcome back my dear students to a new lesson of English lesson number 11 and this lesson has the title of personality Dear students in this lesson we will know how can we differentiate between this personality and that personality Let's read the first introduction Personality, the person you are and the way other people see you is your personality. Psychologists find ways to compare people's personalities using tests. And as you see here on the right, we have the test of ink, the test of ink. So to some people, this shape means something, to others means something else according to the personality of the person who is tested here if you want to to explain what this shape is you can make a lot of analysis for this shape and this analysis is different from that why because every one of you has a different personality from others now let's do something else related to personality complete the table with a tick on each line to describe yourself first look at the key to understand the numbers Connect the ticks with the line and then use the other table to assess your pattern partners or partner without asking them any questions. The key is under the tables number one well above average, number two above average, three average, four below average, five well below average average here my students you can tick under number one number two three four or five and that depends on your thinking your point of view your personality you have so you can do this practice or this test yourselves And then let's do something else. Practice number C. Look at the three pictures. Picture number A, number B, and number C. For each picture, write down short answers to the questions in your notebook. Number one. Who do you think they are? Where do you think they are? What's happening now? What's happened or what happened sorry what happened before what happens next who do you identify with and whose feelings do you sympathize with let's deal with the first question number one who do you think they are in the first picture we think we have here a boss and an employee in the picture number B we think we have a mother and her son a mother and her son and in picture number C we have here a father and his daughter a father and his daughter where do you think they are? The first picture, the, the two people, the two people are at work. Whereas in the second picture, number B, they are at home. And we think also in the third picture, picture number C, they are at home. What's happening now? The post is discussing something with this man 
and here the mother is making the hat or the cloth on the head of this person make it fit and in the third picture picture number C this man is helping her helping this girl in dressing up what happened before maybe in the first picture there was a mistake and the boss is correcting it now and what happens next the employee agree with his boss and maybe maybe he corrects it and you can guess the following pictures number b and c yourselves my students according to your point of view number d work in pairs compare your responses or answers in exercise number a b and c how different are they i am sure they are different psychologists use tests like these to find out to discover the sort of person you are do you think they are helpful yes of course i think they are so helpful for us all now let's move to our workbook and do practice number a on page number 36 in this unit unit number five Match the personality adjectives from 1 to 8 to the descriptions from A to H. We have two columns. The first one on the left, it has 8 adjectives. Number 1, fussy. 2, modest. 3, sensitive. 4, loyal. 5, moody. Number 6, bussy. 7 generous 8 outgoing on the right column we have also here we have 10 sentences number A aware of how other people are feeling B likes being in charge and telling everyone what to do 3 or C shares everything with their friends D loves meeting new people and making conversation. Number E likes everything to be in the right place and everything to be just as they planned it. Number F even when doing something really well doesn't tell anyone about it. The following sentence or descriptions friends are very important never says anything bad about them and one minute they are up the next they are down you never know where you are with them let's match between the adjective and the description related to it number one fussy We can match it with likes everything. I mean number E. Likes everything to be in the right place and everything to be just as they planned it. Likes everything to be in the right place and everything to be just as they planned it. Number two, modest. Modest means even when doing something really well doesn't tell anyone about it number f three sensitive aware of how other people are feeling aware of how other people are feeling number four loyal we match it with g number g 
Friends are very important. Never says anything bad about them. Number five, moody. We can match it with number H. One minute they are up. The next they are down. You never know where you are with them. One minute they are up and next they are down. You never know where you are with them. And number six, bossy. Bossy means likes being in charge and telling everyone what to do. Number seven, generous. We match it with C, shares everything with their friends. And finally, number eight, outgoing means loves meeting new people and making conversation. Now, after doing this exercise number A, you can see, my dear students, the answers in front of you. Here are the answers. You can copy them in your workbook, my students. And eventually, at reaching at this point and doing exercise number A, we can conclude our lesson. Lesson number 11, which has the title of personality. Study it hard, my students. And finally, I want to say to everybody of you, see you later and goodbye.